What's up, everybody? This is your girl, Miss P. I hope that you are doing fabulous. I'm doing well, and it is time for another episode of Untitled Foolery. It goes down every Sunday. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. It is free 99. I hope you guys have enjoyed your week, and happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Big, big shout outs to my father. I love my daddy. I love him. Please be sure to comment down below. So much has gone on in entertainment this week. I haven't done a foolery of entertainment in a minute so I wanted to get in on it. The reason why I was playing Michael Jackson is just because Lil Paris, y'all heard about Lil Paris, she was hospitalized for slitting one of her wrists. Now I know I'm all about being funny and being extra but I do want to say in all seriousness if you know anybody who is suicidal, who's depressed, please, please, please do not take it lightly. I'm glad that they hospitalized Paris Jackson and I'm glad that she is doing okay but my thing is what I wanted to know is where would a Jackson family, there's about 5,100 Jacksons running around that's related to Reba and all of them. I want to know which one. Where were they at? They know Katie can't take care of them kids by herself. Katie is about a thousand years old. She don't need to be taking care of them. Paris, they done lost their daddy and everything. I don't know. There needs to be a focus somewhere. All right, just like Bobby Christina with Nippy, but we not going to talk about her right now. We already talked about Mama Katie. That's going to be a hell no. We're going to go into Joseph. He got one little eye, one big eye. He looked like something wrong with him. He looked like he carried candy with him and he be giving it to little kids. Something wrong with him. I'ma think no on that one as well. Jermaine, he be whispering all the time and he, you know, and Michael and oh my God. And you know that little baby here, I can't. He be looking like the Tin Man half the time. I wonder what type of gel he uses. He either uses the clear jam or the brown jam gel. I'm not sure. Tito, I don't really know nothing about Tito except for that little bowl cut under them hats. So I'ma, I'ma just vote no for that. Jackie, oh Lord. No thanks. Marlon, he might be one of the sane ones, but he be crying a little bit too much for me. And they need a little bit of discipline, so I'ma say no. Janet, she in another country. She don't know if she wanna be off her own. She in control. I love you, Janet, baby girl. But no, no thank you, pumpkin. No thank you. Latoya, <laughs> Latoya, she be laughing all the time. I ain't got time for Latoya. She crazy as hell too, so I'ma vote no. The only sane one is I'ma say Reby. We don't never see nothing about Reby. We don't hear nothing about her. Last time we saw her was at Michael's funeral and that was eight million years ago. I hope the Jackson clan gets it together. Now, did y'all know Ocho Cinco, he's getting ready to go to jail. He was about to close on his domestic violence case. He was about to go to the house, settle. He was gonna be chilling. He just had to be at the house for a little bit, go to a little counseling, and he was gonna be all all good. So he figured he really loves his lawyer and gonna give him a little pat on the ass. Like they are sitting out on the football field. You don't do that, player. Now the judge, she wasn't amused at all. She said, oh, Joe, do you think this is a game, player? This ain't no game. Get your, get your ass to the back. Get him an orange suit. Matter of fact, get him a blue suit. She didn't break her face. She didn't do nothing. She was like, you better, do you think this is a game? Do you see me smiling? He was like, no, boss. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But Ocho, you know better, player. Maybe this will teach you something. Peace. Tamar and Vince, congratulations to them. I don't know if it's a beautiful baby yet. They brought a baby boy into the world. I do know it's a baby. I'm wondering what that baby gonna look like. Everybody pray. Amen. Thank you. Now, who are you guys rooting for for the NBA Finals? I you know what I try to root for the underdog and the Spurs they just got whooped so you know I'm currently rooting for the Spurs we'll see what happens I do have a Miami Heat jersey so you know I, I try to do what I do when I can so I'm rooting for either one they both gonna get a check so it don't even matter but who are you guys rooting for I want to know in the comments I want you guys to see this picture of Chris Bosh that I saw Chris Bosh Chris Bosh see I can't even say it Christopher Bosch that I saw on Instagram. Ratchet foolery. Hey, Chris. Yes. Y'all need to quit messing with Chris Bosch like that. And also, I want you guys to see this picture that I saw on Instagram as well of Kendrick Perkins looking like <laughs> Thomas the Train. <laughs> it's hilarious. But the thing that I'm laughing at is I used to be scared of Thomas the Train. He looked like he liked little kids. Like, he was just scared of me. The way his eyes would blink and he'd just be choo-chooing and his mouth would be moving. I ain't like that. And I did get a chance to see After Earth, and I'm going to give you guys my take on it next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys next Sunday for another episode of Untitled Foolery. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless. Bye.